now what we need to do we need to simulate this circuit and see what will be the output voltage okay at this instant i didn't connect the capacitor i just connect a resistance okay normal resistance just to show you that what will be the output voltage okay and here you can see that there is a three voltage one voltage is this one another voltage is this one and another one is the output the blue one is the output voltage okay and the green one is the just before the diode at that particular node what is the voltage okay and the orange one is the input voltage if you see the output voltage at the just before the op amp the green one you can see this will follow a sine wave okay when the diode is on when the diode is on this particular circuit act as a voltage follower so it will just follow the input voltage right you can see here just like the input voltage but when the input voltage is goes to the negative half at that time you can see the positive terminal at that time i already explained you at the positive terminal we are giving the negative voltage right that means the output should be negative so you can see the output of the op amp is minus 15 volt that's why the diode will be turned off if you see the top waveform that is just the output after the diode and you can see that is a perfectly half wave waveform okay so if i just do in a same one and i just delete the this one you can see the blue one is the output voltage and the orange one is the input voltage okay orange one you can see we can see the full sine wave but in the blue one you can see the half sine wave okay so this is the circuit without a capacitor so what we need to do we need to connect a capacitor so now you can see here that the output voltage is constant why when the just circuit started at that time the blue line is just follow the orange line that means the input and output is the same okay and when it just go reach to the max one the peak then capacitor don't have any path to discharge the voltage okay discharge the charge right and as there is no path to discharge the capacitor will hold it voltage and you can see this one the output is a constant okay now i will show you if i connect a resistance then what will happen now you can see it looks like that the, it follows the same path right but it depends upon the resistor as you can see the resistor is already 10k now if i decrease this value very beautiful right as you can see it's only 10 ohm so it is discharging through the 10 ohm now if i just increase a little bit you can see the slope is increasing right and if i just decrease that one you can see right you understand so the slope of that one is completely depend upon the resistance right and if that resistance is too much high like 10k or 30k you see it's just the constant right so in the cu exam paper they just provide us the capacity with the infinite resistance right that's why it will be output will be constant okay i think you understand the concept okay you don't need to write down everything in the paper this is just for your concept okay in the paper just do the calculation just so that this is the hardware rectifier i connect a capacitive filter and as this is a capacitive filter without any resistance then there will be no discharge as the discharge time if time constant will be infinite so it will just a peak detector circuit okay in this question there is two problem one is the half wave rectifier okay and another is a capacitor filter okay explain the operation of the circuit so what i will do first i will explain you the operation of the half wave rectifier okay this is video first you need to understand two things 
here if there is no diode then you all know if the diode is not here this is just a voltage follower circuit with the unity gain right that means this is the vi so we can write down v0 is equal to vi or equal to v0 sin omega t right that means when if the diode is on then this particular circuit will work like this right and if diode is off then how the circuit will looks like what will be the value of v0 v0 will be equal to 0 why you can see there is no connection between the output of the op amp and the v0 right and as this is a open loop op amp that means there is no feedback that means that this op amp will work in the saturation region right and in the saturation region there will be no virtual short that means the v plus is not equal to v minus right and as there is nothing in the v minus what will be the value of v0 v0 will be zero okay so you already understand if the diode is on then the circuit will looks like this if the diode is off then circuit will look like this right now we need to see that when the diode is on when the diode is off okay first i just draw the sine wave okay Right. I assume that this diode is ideal diode. Okay. First, assume that there is no capacitor. Okay. This is disconnected. Then we will show you the operation of capacitor. When the input voltage V i is in the positive waveform, positive half cycle, at that time the input voltage at the V positive is positive. Right. That means we give the input is positive. Right. And we all know that the formula of v0 is equal to a t is v plus minus v minus right and we give the input voltage v plus is positive right and in the v minus we didn't give any input that means we will get a positive voltage at the output as we are giving the positive voltage in the non-inverting terminal that means here we will get a positive voltage right and here we didn't give any input in the negative terminal right that means that is zero so here we get a zero volt right that means if this is v1 and if this is v2 then we can write down v1 is greater than v2 right if v1 is greater than v2 then this diode d1 will be in the forward bias okay as this is the ideal diode with only this condition this diode is in the forward bias but if this is a practical diode then what it should be do then v1 minus v2 should be greater than 0 0.7 volt that means when this input voltage is greater than 0 0.7 volt at that time this diode will be turned on but as this is the ideal case when the vi is just increased from 0 to positive voltage at that time the diode will be turned on right and if the diode is turned on i already show you that this circuit will be looks like a voltage follow circuit and the output will be same as the input voltage right that means we will get sine wave in the output understood no problem in that one now go to the negative half cycle so for the negative half cycle now the input is a switch from positive to negative right that means the value of vi in this instant will be equal to negative okay here the formula will be v0 is equal to ad into v plus minus v minus right here v minus is zero as i didn't give any input okay and v plus is how much v plus is in negative so eventually you can see here we will get a negative voltage right and we all know if we get a negative voltage here is v suppose this is a v1 get a negative voltage here the diode will be off why suppose this is the diode and here is v1 and here is v2 right and this is the negative voltage and v2 i didn't give any voltage that means zero so 
V2 is a higher voltage, V1 is a lower voltage. That means the current should flow from V2 to V1, right? But diode will not conduct in this particular condition. Why? In this case, diode is in reverse bias. Okay? That means diode will be turned off. Okay? And I already told you in the last slide, if the diode is turned off, then you can see this is the open circuit, right? That means the output will be zero, right? I just redraw that one again. Suppose the diode is off, right? That means the circuit will look like this one. This is plus, this is minus, Vi and V0, right? Okay, so V0 is not connected with the op amp output and in the negative terminal, I didn't give any voltage. That means V0 should be zero. So what we will get? We will get here is zero. And here again we will have a positive and here we will again have a positive. So this will repeat, right? That means this circuit will act as a rectifier. Okay. So this will act as a half wave rectifier. Okay. So now you already understand the work of this particular area without any capacitor, right? And with this particular area of the circuit, give us a rectifier half wave rectifier okay so what we need to do now we need to draw the circuit again for the capacitor load here the load is capacitor right so here we can draw that we have a voltage source here is vi okay and we have a capacitor right and here this vi is the this input voltage suppose this is vx so this is vx okay so vx is nothing but a half wave rectifier output okay so that means what we will do this will act as a capacitor filter and how it will work i already have a dedicated video for the capacitor filter i will put that link in the description please go and watch that one if you didn't understand here okay i will explain you again in this one suppose i draw this one okay This is Vx and here we have like this, okay? And suppose this is the output we are drawing. So this is V0. So I just do a dotted line of the input voltage. Now you can see here. You all know capacitor is act as a battery, right? That means the capacitor will charge with the particular voltage and you all know that when you add a capacitor in a circuit then the voltage will be built up like this right that means when you add a voltage source into a capacitor then the capacitor will charge with that particular voltage right that means if i take another color then when the input voltage is this then capacitor will take the voltage and do the charge okay and it will go up to this line where the input voltage is maximum okay now see this here you can see for the capacitor in the charging cycle there is no resistance r equal to zero right that means the time constant for the charging is very fast is zero that's why it will exactly follow the input voltage curve okay now for the output also you can see the output r is infinite as there is no resistance in the output so the time constant for discharge will be also infinite that means when the capacitor will fully charge in this point with the maximum voltage after that there is nothing for the capacitor to discharge right so the capacitor cannot discharge as the resistance is here is infinite so there will be no current flow through the resistance right that means the capacitor will not lose any of the charge, right? That means the capacitor voltage will be kept constant and it will be constant like this as there is no resistance in the output, okay? But suppose you have a resistance here, then what will happen? Then this capacitor will discharge with the depend upon the time constant of the resistance. Like this. Suppose this resistance is R1 and this resistance is R4. 
So we can write down R4 should be greater than R3 should be greater than R2 should be greater than R1. Okay, so this will be the answer. That means if we do the whole thing together, then what we will get? This will be the input voltage. So the input voltage will be line wave. Okay, and the output voltage will be how? The output voltage will be looks like this one. Up to the first peak, it will go or follow the input curve. Okay, and then it will be kept constant. Okay, so this will be the output voltage. So this is all about this circuit. In all of this previous question, this is the only question that is little bit difficult. Other is everything is okay. If you didn't understand this problem, please let me know. I will explain you again. Thanks for your time. Please do share this concept with your friends. And if you like this video, please press the like button. It is really means a lot for me. Bye bye.